Welcome to another edition of Insurance Truth. Welcome back. I'm Cody with Courage Mentor. I am sitting, hanging out with my buddy, Mr. Ron Comer. What's up, bro? How you doing, Cody? Doing good, man. Ron is a Medicare supplement freak from Jefferson City, Missouri. The best, the best Medicare agent that I have ever known. I've learned more about selling Medicare and getting in front of Medicare prospects than this man, than any other agent in the world. And I'm gonna even, before I even jump in, I'm gonna give you guys a little context. Ron, I don't remember what year, it was probably like 2012. Ron sold over a thousand, over 1,000 Medicare supplements in one single year. Is that true? Correct. How'd you do it, man? It's like 92% of agents fail. Most agents can't sell a hundred med subs in a year, let alone a thousand. What makes you so different? Well, we use multiple sources of marketing. Okay. We do mail outs, we do okay. seminars, we do referrals. Yeah. And you have to be willing to work. Dude, and this dude works. And when, when people say 80 hours a week, they don't really mean it. They don't really work. Like when I say 80 hours a week, I don't really work 80 hours a week. This dude works closer to 100 hours a week than 80 hours a week. And they're going to think I'm nuts. This dude's a freak. And you got to be willing to go wherever there's business. So you you drive all over the state of Missouri. Right. Every single day. Correct. You're down in Springfield for the day because you have several appointments. In my own office, he's got several appointments. Till eight o'clock tonight. Till eight o'clock tonight. Busy running appointments. It's all about, okay, so when you do mail outs or when you do seminars, like what sets you apart? Because I know when you do something, you want to get attention. You want to grab attention immediately. You have to know your product. And, and, and you know, okay, so expand on that. So when you say you have to know your product, you know in, you know it in and out. You know Medicare 100 times better than I do. And I've sold plenty of Medicare over the phone in person. Expand on that. You have to know your product. You have to do what's in the best interest of the client at all times. In, in other words, it may be a Medicare Advantage plan or it may be a Medicare supplement or it may be best that they stay right where they're at. It's just mm. whatever benefits the client. And then if you expand on that and you drive that point home yeah. and you show the knowledge in the presentation and the client's going to realize, you know, what you're talking about once you get into your meeting, they're going to refer you. And then once yeah. that referral process stop, starts, I mean, it just keeps going. It's a snowball effect. So you, between mail outs, uh, referrals, seminars, uh, friends at church. Uh, it just keeps going and then you got to be willing to work the hours and you got to let them know that uh, you, You're willing to go wherever it needs, you know, needs to, the business needs to be written. Yep. How, how many how many seminars did you do? We've done uh, We've done four in the last week Come on man if that don't jack you guys up. Okay, you you used to send out like when I first started you were sending out like how many pieces of mail were we you were mail, out? We were mailing the entire state, everybody turning 65. Every month? Every month. Jeez. Everybody turning 65. We were. How crazy is that? That's we, tens of thousands of people every single month. We were spending a lot of money. Dude, and, and that's another thing. You invest as much money back into your business or into your business before you even get paid as well as anybody I know. What, what inside you makes you take that jump and that leap to actually invest in your business, which so many agents don't? Well, you have to. You have to do it if you're going to be successful. Gosh, dude, you get me jacked up. You made me want to sell med subs now. <laughs> What's up? Let's do this. You've got, you've got a new agent out there that's listening. They're like, hey, I don't know what to do. I'm struggling. I want to sell Medicare. I want to be better at Medicare. What, what would your advice be to that new agent sitting there like, Help me, Ron. Bring them along with you and show them exactly how to do it. Mm. I love that. And you know what? That's something they can do. The agents agents don't realize this. You're in, you're down here in our Springfield office. You know, every couple weeks, probably every week or two. There's agents that can come and come we, down, run appointments with them, help them. I mean, you and you. That's what's cool about Ron is he's got his he's got his. He, not only is he the most knowledgeable person I know about Medicare, the ins and outs. I mean, just crazy stuff that really maybe you don't even need to know. It's just nuts. He knows it, but. He also has a big heart, and he's an honest, honest, ethical individual that really does mean it. When he says he really wants to take care of the client and do what's best, he really wants to take care of the client and do what's best. Where's that come from? Uh, 
character. I think Char it's big. Character of the person you're dealing with. Agents can, clients can feel that, right? Most definitely. Yeah. Is there a, is there a, is there a uh, prospect? I know you've got a, you've got your sales process down, your sales pitch. You got everything you know what you're doing, when you're doing it. Is there a prospect that you get in front of that you cannot, if, if it's in their best interest to to go with you, is there ever a time where you aren't closing that sale? We have a hundred percent close ratio unless I unless I just simply can't afford it. Mm. That's strong. And you know what? The fact that you added a little extra ad lib is good because it's not. You may be able to close them, but if they can't afford it and they're not going to hold on to it, and, and it's, it's not going to be mutually yeah. beneficial for either of you. You don't want to waste their time uh, because just taking their money one time and they cancel the policy 30 days later is a waste of their time and yours. Exactly, exactly. When, when you sold over a thousand med subs in one year, what was, describe that year and you as a salesperson, a thousand med subs in one year, describe it with one single word if you had to do that you had to describe it with one single word and you had to say one word what would that word be work work baby <laughs> work <laughs> i like it how did you learn so, so much about medicare there's so many agents that they're like medicare is so confusing there's so much to medicare i don't understand everything to do with medicare how did you get to that point where you're like i don't care what they ask what comes up I mean, because you know that freaking Medicare and you guidebook like the back of your freaking hand. You just got to get in and learn it. You got to spend a lot of time on it. And when you talk to enough people and you dive in and you put fear aside, that's what happens. Well, experience. Uh, to I hate to use the word trial and error, but just from the just the sheer fact of just doing it, yep. you're going to run into situations that just that are not in the handbook. Exactly. I mean, there's things that pop up that you just would never realize was there until it happened. I love that. Uh, insurance companies change their underwriting guidelines, change their applications, change their policy language in the policy, which could create a problem for you and the client if you're not aware of it until it happens. 100%. 100%. All so. right. So, if, if, if an, an agent, uh, you know what? We talked about a new agent earlier. Let's talk about an agent that maybe. They've been in the business a while. They have some clients, they have some renewals, but they're looking at you now and they're like, I didn't sell a thousand med subs in one year. Heck, I didn't even sell 150 in one year. What's what's something that small that they could add that could take them to the next level and propel them to where they're like, you know what? I can do more. Well, we've started doing these seminars and they've, you know, we're we're proven that they're being successful. Yeah. Take something that you that you find that works and then mass produce it. I love that. Mass produce, that is exactly, when I think of Ron, I think of someone running a Medicare sweatshop and mass producing what he's talking about. And so there's people that do things halfway or they think small or they only do so much. Ron is a guy when he thinks about something, how can I mass produce it to the level that I am exhausting every avenue possible? Thousand med subs in one year, the Medicare man. Any final thoughts for Mr. Comer? Just stay focused. Okay. Focus, work hard, and make your marketing dollars count. Mm. Make them count, the insurance truth. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, if you enjoyed listening to Ron, give us a thumbs up and click subscribe below. We're bringing it strong. A th the thousand med subs in one year. We're gonna keep bringing it strong every episode. Thanks for watching, we love you, we thank you, we appreciate you. Have an awesome rest of your day.